they look like any other couple walking in Central Park and through Times Square. But tonight, the Washington Post says for nearly 20 years, this husband and wife have kept their true identities hidden. The quiet owners of a small dry cleaning store say they are also the aunt and uncle of one of the world's most notorious dictators, North Korea's Kim Jong-un. They live an entirely unremarkable American immigrant life. Kim's aunt, who says her given name is Ko Young Suk, says she is the sister of Kim's mother, Ko Young Hui, one of Kim Jong Il's wives. She was someone that I believe that Ko Young Hui uh, would trust, you know, obviously with the lives of her children. Ko Young Suk told the Post she traveled from North Korea to take care of Kim, his older brother, and younger sister when they attended this boarding school in Switzerland. He was not a good student. That he did not enjoy studying. Post reporter Anna Fifield interviewed Ko and her husband Ri Gong after uncovering their existence through a lawsuit they filed in South Korea. They insisted their faces, the names they use in the U.S., and the location of their home and dry cleaning business not be revealed. Fifield says the couple tell a story of a young man who was privileged and from early childhood apparently knew he would inherit the leadership of North Korea. Kim's aunt said she took Kim and his siblings to Euro Disney, the French Riviera, took them skiing in the Alps. She describes Kim as being obsessed with basketball, that he would sometimes sleep with a ball under his arm, an obsession that would lead to some surreal moments with former NBA star Dennis Rodman. Ko Young Suk told the Post there was one day when a clear signal was sent that the young Kim would succeed his father, his eighth birthday. There was a big party for him in Pyongyang and that he was presented with a general's army uniform on that day and that there were real generals who were at that party who then, you know, bowed to this eight-year-old kid. From that moment, Ko says, Kim's behavior changed. She describes Kim as intensely focused but, quote, short-tempered and had a lack of tolerance. He was prone to having kind of tantrums almost that he would get in a half about things. So when his mother, for example, visited and told him that he shouldn't be spending so much time playing basketball that he should be studying. He um, he wasn't happy about that and would, would go on hunger strike is what his aunt said about it. Ko told the Post in 1998 she and her husband sought asylum at the U.S. Embassy in Switzerland. Then they were taken to an American military base in Germany, questioned for months. When they got to America, she says they received money and for a short time housing from the CIA. The CIA would not comment on the aunt's interview with the Washington Post. Ko Young Suk's husband, Ri Gong, says he wants to go back to Pyongyang for a visit as a sort of goodwill ambassador between the U.S. and North Korea. One analyst says that would be a, quote, suicidal act. Ko says she's trying to talk her husband out of it. Wolf? What was the breaking point, Brian, for the aunt and uncle? What was it that made them finally decide to defect? Well, the couple is vague about that in their interview uh, with the Washington Post. Wolf, the Post and analysts we spoke to say that it could be that the aunt decided to defect when she found out that her sister, Kim Jong-un's mother, had cancer. Kim's mother, because she was so ambitious, had made a lot of enemies inside the regime. If the mother was no longer in the picture, those enemies might come after the aunt and uncle. Kim's mother did end up dying in a, the year 2004.